Hello everyone, this is me, you, Mini Plus V3, it's a Wi-Fi handheld game console. This is worth around £50 UK currency by me, you, and this is the mini version. You can also get the standard version, slightly bigger than this one, and you can get it in different colours. I've chosen this one because it rem reminds me of Game Boy Colour when I first got this um, 20 years ago or longer than that, and it reminds me of that um, Game Boy but you can get it in a transparent black um see through um transparent color as well and then you can also get in white i think there's a few colors to choose from now along with that you also get a usb type c charging cable uh this card reader you also get this cleaning um wipes to clean the um, screen and you also get this tempered screen protector to um protect the screen from getting damaged you also get an uh, instruction manual as well now and the, underneath here it takes the micro sd memory card that's where all the games are in that micro sd make sure you have that and it's a 32 gig it also has a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack it also has a usb type c charging port here so it does charge up pretty quickly on the right side there's nothing really there at the back that's where the battery is you can actually open this up if you need to if by any chance the battery actually gets damaged and um, you can always replace that so you can always buy another me U battery and replace that um, if it gets overcharged or anything like that it, it, it's not operating well um, it does have at the back the L2 and the um, L1 and the R2 and the R1 and these work perfectly on the left side of it it has the volume control here and at the top here it has the power button so if i press this it will switch on it will light up here so you can see that green light and that's when it switches on now this has a a, a screen which is a ips screen it's a 640 uh, times 480 high resolution screen the screen is really good um, for all games and I, 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 I like the resolution of the screen Along with that, it also has a Wi-Fi multiplayer, so you don't need an OTG cable, and it just works with the Wi-Fi. So if you've got two Mi U Mini uh, Plus V3 um, consoles, and there's games that you can play multiplayer, you can just, via Wi-Fi, you can actually play multiplayer games. And it's lightweight, it's compact, it's not comfortable, bear in mind, because it doesn't fit my palm on my hands. Um... But that's just the design of this of this console and along with that it has a 3000 mAh battery capacity giving you around 6 to 7 hours of usage time per full charge and it got around a quite a few emulators built, built into this it weighs only around 16 uh, um, around 164 grams it's not that heavy so let's go through the games and see what type of um, games it has. But before that, let's go to the settings. So settings, you've got the power power off. You've got the brightness, you can control the brightness here to save battery that way. You've got the Wi-Fi here, so you can switch that on and off. It has the color here, so you can illumination, hue, um, saturation and uh, contrast. You can uh, control those to the way you want it. And then you've got the languages here where these are the languages to choose from so not many languages um in this game console to choose from you got the keys map here and oh, oh did i'm just changing a few things around i'm not I shouldn't be even doing this let's go back um you got the bgm volume here you got the uh, themes here you got the hibernate so that's that, that's a way to um, save battery that way you got fixes you got vec uh, factory reset you got device info so these are this is the device info and it, it's got the hardware test where it will take you to a screen you press each button it will vibrate and that way you know the buttons are working fine so you got the recent here you got the favorites you got the game you got the retro arch and you got the apps here click on the apps it just has the apps that it has built into the memory card. So let's go to the games and let's check it out. Now, you got a lot of emulators. So you got the F F 01 FC, you got, well, that's 1, 2, 3, just going in that order. So FC games, it has a lot of games built into this one. You got 4,974 games to choose from. Tons of games to choose from. So you can go down, 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 non stop. And you got so many games. Then you got the Game Boy games here. It has 1,354 games to choose from. 
So that's a lot of games to choose from. And then you got the Game Boy Advance games to choose from. So there's 725 Game Boy Advance games to choose from. You've got the um, MD games here. 2740 games here. Now that's because I've got a 32 um, gig uh, memory card. So that can only store a certain level of games. Then you got the SFC games here. So 785 games here. Then you got the PlayStation um, 1 games. Only 11 games. So not many PlayStation 1 games. But you could add more if you had if you had space. You got the MS games here, 291 games. You've got the uh, WSC games. It has 91 games here. And then you've got the PCE games, 291 games. You've got the NGP games. There you go, 2,600 games here. I'm not sure what console that is. Um, 780, 7, um, console. I'm not sure which console that one is as either, but you've got games there. Um, if you know uh, by looking at the icon, you may know which console that is. I'm not sure, but it's one of the retro games, arcade games here. So you can choose from the arcade games. There's a lot of games, around 75 games here, and then you got the FPN games here, 75 games to choose from. Then you've got the Mame. This is nothing here. Just uh, FF Play. I'm not sure what that is. Then you've got the Mame two, 2010 games here. And if I go down, you've got the Mame Plus games. You've got 410 games to choose from here. Then you've got the Neo Geo games. 152 games to choose from. Pico Drive. 2740 games. And the SMS Plus games. 291 games here so there's a lot of games to choose from so let, let me go to uh, um, a game just to play and see how the quality is so let me put them full volume so that's on full volume right now 20 and I'm gonna click on the PlayStation 1 game called Bloody Raw 2 and let's try this out Let's just go on arcade and try it. I remember playing this game in play on PlayStation 1. It was one of my favorite games. And this, you can see by the resolution of the screen, it's really good for these retro games. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay that I've played on this. Um, it's a really good uh, game console, only worth around £50, and it has a lot of great retro um, emulators built into this. So it's something that I would highly recommend. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.